I was amazed because I was my I have um, some young boys and they I was putting in their lunchbox those sweet juice drinks. boxes right and and my son my middle son said well wait a minute how come you're selling all these healthy drinks to adults but you're giving us this sugary stuff I said you're right and so first we started giving him these big bottles but he's bringing it home half drunk because he's not that big and then we started making the pouches and and just to see and we hear from other parents you know. I can now give my child something to put in their lunchbox that I feel good about. Um, and what's the difference in the sugar? Oh, it's 40% as much. You know, it's, 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 a, it's significantly less. And there is still sugar. I mean, you can't, you have to be realistic. You want something the kids are going to want to take to school and drink. Um, and, and obviously that the, works for the parents too. Um, so it's really nice to feel like we're giving people something that works for them. And then, of course, the most gratifying um, part for me is being able to go to these tea gardens and seeing what kind of opportunities we're creating economically for our partners there. What's not in your tea that's in other tea? That's that What's not in our tea? Well, the, the, the biggest thing is because it's organic. So um, tea is one of the few agricultural products that is never rinsed. So if I buy a tomato or an apple that may have chemicals sprayed on it, um, you, you can bring it home, you can rinse it, peel it, you'll get this, the surface chemicals off. Tea leaves, um, if there's chemicals sprayed on tea leaves, they stay on the leaves all the way through the drying process and the, the only time they get washed off is when hot water is poured on them to brew the tea. So those chemicals end up in the, in the bottle. Right. And so for us, what's not in our product are all the chemical pesticides, chemical herbicides, uh, any other kinds of fertilizers that are sprayed on regular tea leaves. And, and where do you buy your tea leaves? Was it hard to find a company that would adhere yeah. to your standards? In the beginning, there were very few organic um, tea gardens. Now there are a lot more, but we buy mostly from India, uh, China, Sri Lanka, South Africa. And, and it's, what's exciting for us is that as we've grown, so has the market for organic uh, tea leaves. And so um, our prices come down, there's more suppliers, better, better quality, um, and that's just a great example of when you know our success is helping to fuel um, supply